What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Homelander in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Homelander, some best strategies you need to be using, and of course, some fun and easy combos to get you started today. And as we go ahead and get on into it, my dudes, go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we're gonna be using so that everybody who's watching on any console can understand what we're saying. You might have seen some crazy stuff with Homelander on Twitter and other social media. He's got some pretty crazy stuff, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. He's got his fight ability up stance and that can do a lot of stuff. However, I need you to take a deep breath we're gonna be taking it one step at a time here and i'm gonna let you know right now you can be an amazing homelander player by honestly just keeping it simple you can be simple but effective and there's nothing wrong with that so let's keep it basic let's keep it simple let's talk about his moves and how to open your opponent up his best low option for mix-up is gonna be four four what's that a laser yeah homelander is all about lasers forward four down four back four sweet down back three back four three back four to one went in flight back four to one down back three we even have back down four four as you can tell he's got a ton of lasers obviously it's homelander we're gonna have lasers that is one more thing you need to know and understand homelander is a zoner character and there's nothing wrong with that there are tons of zoners in, in almost every fighting game you're gonna have zoning character if you're not a zoner player why are you playing homelander so yeah a couple of his strategies and tips revolve around zoning that's just a character archetype in fighting games <laughs> if you don't like it I, i'm sorry but anyways before i get into a rant again four to four is a good low and if you're not in the corner the best way to lead that into a combo is using your fly dash which is back forward two into any other move or hit like one two three or four so you can do back forward two then one back forward two and then two and that is a throw so if your opponent is blocking that'll still grab him back forward two and then three and then back forward two and four and that's the same in the air that fly dash is really the glue that kind of sticks together homeliner's entire strategy and game plan a lot of his combos will start from that fly dash hits or end with that you can do combos into that flight and continue the combo by canceling into the flight using up stance in the middle of a combo but like you can go one two up stance four and then dash hit him continue a combo like this it is tricky to get down but you don't have to do it like that there are other ways to do combos that's on the bit more advanced side but you can do it <laughs> i'm getting sidetracked bro oh my god okay yes we got the dash that's gonna be a ton of stuff for combos and moves yes let's go back to lows <laughs> not the store but we got forward four and that can go into that dash and then pressing one so it's forward four back forward two one and that connects allowing for air combos because that back forward two and then one puts you in the air for air combos. So something might look like this. On the ground, Homelander has no major overheads, but just so you know, when you're in flight like this, every move you have is an overhead, which is why when you jump and then dash and then one, that is an overhead starter. So you might do the overhead into a combo like this. Another low option you have is in the air doing down back four like this. That is the God complex move. And you can hold four and like move. So you can go back forward a little bit. If you don't delay it by holding four, you can still move a little bit. Fun side note for you. But when it comes to mix up, those are your best options. You got the dash hitting overhead or four to four for a low. Those can start combos. But what are some other ways to start combos? Well, just so you know, back three. That is kind of a stun move. And right when they're like stunned from hearing or lack of hearing, you can do back one, four into a special right after the back three. So if that hits, that can lead into a combo. You're back down forward four, this uh, laser here. That, that, that is very long on startup. You're not likely gonna hit that. However, if you do forward four first and then do that special move, that'll connect as long as you're in the corner. That's because the first hit of that back down forward four has to hit and outside the corner, it's not gonna happen. See how there it missed? But in the corner, it'll connect. Another way to start combos is your back two, two grab. That is a true grab, like I said. So if your opponent's blocking that, that'll still throw them. You can use cameos like Scorpion for an example after that grab connects. And it looks like this. You can do that with Cyrax and other cameos. Go test it out. Another great option to start stuff is your forward one, because that is a mid and mids are awesome. And that can cancel another specials like this. 
So those are all some good ways to either start combos, open up your opponent using mix up. That's all in their face. I don't think I need to explain how to zone, you know, back four, three, back four to one. You're in flight and you want to do down back three, then your cameo, then down back three again. You can do all that. I don't think I need to explain how to do that part. But one thing that is really cool if you want to do that, a strategy you might call it, is doing back forward two and then one. This puts you in the air for flight. So now you can like zone out your opponent if you want to this way. So if you don't want to finish a combo like that, just stay in the air and then start zoning like this. And real quick for some wake up options, your down back two has armor when enhanced. But if you want to use that for wake up, just do this. If you don't want to do that on wake up, you can always go back into lasers or fly dash grab. That might catch your opponent off guard. Uh, it kind of depends. Now to kind of dive back into the strategies with Homelander, he's a zoner, like I said. So when you're in their face, you can combo him, put him in the air, stay in the air, then zone out your opponent if you wish to. Land, zone him out some more. Use your cameo, zone out some more. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Now, if your opponent decides to use cameos like Sub-Zero, they can really shut that strategy down. So you kind of want something if in case that happens. You know what I'm saying? So like if your opponent counter picks you, like for that reason, you want an option as well. So besides the zoning strategy, what else does he have? Your biggest thing is to kind of keep your opponent guessing by going lows and overhead and how you do that is with that dash Because you can throw that four to four and then go into fly dash But you can also like fly cancel in an overhead like I showed you earlier If your opponent's blocking all that stuff, it's not a really bad thing to like throw that out there. Go for the overhead. Now also you're in, you're in flight mode from there. So now you can just start zoning if you want to. Really put them on their toes that way. Get in their face, cause pressure, and then get flight. Okay, flight. Now I'm going to zone you out. Call out your cameo. They try to jump. Psych. You get the idea. I don't think I need to show you strategies on how to actually zone. Just start lasering shit. That's literally how Homelander is going to be played. Is it annoying? Yeah, but that's just part of fighting games, baby. Now some notes that you need to know about regarding Homelander's moves. Again, down back four in the air. You can delay that by holding four and you can move while doing it forward or back now while you're in flight you do have those aerial specials down back three and back four to one but you can't do those while jumping so you might think oh i'm in the air i can do down back three no you can't you can't jump and do back four to one it ain't gonna work you have to be in flight mode in order to do those moves so if you want to cancel this flight position and get back on the ground just do down stance and that'll put you back on the ground like i said this grab combo the back two two grab you can combo off of this by using certain cannons like scorpion for an example so you might think, oh, that's gonna be a combo ender. And it definitely can be, but using the right cameos, you can combo off of it. And we'll show more of those combos later. Also, while you're on the ground and moving, you can use certain cameos like Mataro here, for example, like back cameo, forward cameo, even down cameo. But there are certain cameo moves like all of those that you can't use while in flight. So like right here, we can't do back cameo. We can't do forward cameo. They're just not coming out. That was neutral cameo, but that did work. We can't be doing down cameo. None of those will work while we're in flight mode. So if you're playing Homelander, I can't show you every cameo move possible in this one video. So go test out your cameo and see what moves work while you're in flight or not. Because that'll change your game plan, your strategies, and kind of your options of what you can do. And when it comes to air combos, Homelander only really has like two or three options that you're going to be using uh, more often than others. I'm talking one, two, two, one for the most part. You can end those with either four or a grab. So you can do one, two, four, one, two, grab, two, one, four, or two, one, grab. A lot of the time you're gonna be doing two, one, or one, two, and then doing back forward two for that fly dash into one to slam them back down on the ground to continue combo on the ground like this. You see how he got him in the air, combo, dash, hit him back down, ground combo? You can do that. Or you can just end it with 2-1, grab in the air, and that's fine too. Nothing wrong with keeping it short and sweet. If you do end those air combos with the grab, keep in mind that might be a really good spot for cameos to then continue the combo. And here's how that might look. So depending on if you want to use a cameo or something back down to the ground yourself, it kind of depends on what you want to do when you're feeling in the moment. Now, as we've kind of already showcased quite a bit, the character specific gimmick that is applied to Homelander in Mortal Kombat 1 is of course the flight that allows you to do whatever you want and zone out, yes. And then of course that fly dash and a real quick tip, that fly dash is basically full screen. Like really watch this. Full screen, baby. So if you don't want to be full screen and zoning out, just dash full screen kick. That's safe on block, by the way. So yeah, you can get super complex with Homelander, like I said, but you can keep it really simple. Do some really fun combos. Do some decent damage and zone out your opponent like crazy. Now for the fun part of the video that I know you're here for, let me go ahead and show you some fun and easy combos to get you started with Homelander today.
Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think of Homelander in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is he your main? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat 1 guides, news, tutorials, and more.